United Nations Resident Coordinator Yasim Uruk on Wednesday reminded that there is no single factor driving acts of violence against women. Uruk told a gathering at the reception to recognize active partners who contributed to gender-based violence prevention and response services in Guyana over the past three years that Guyana is playing an active role in ensuring the UN Spotlight Initiative's objectives are achievable, but she highlighted the need for more partnerships and policies to truly tackle the issue at hand. This reception signified the closing of the Spotlight Initiative program here. The Spotlight Initiative was signed by the government of Guyana, EU and UN in October 2020 and is a three-year program funded by the EU. Guyana is one of six Caribbean countries to benefit from the initiative that involves partnerships among nations to respond to all forms of violence against women. I would encourage that we going forward maintain this close partnership but also dialogue for with civil society so that we can collectively agree on joint work plans on how to make the work and the selfless contributions of our civil society partners meaningful going forward. Minister of Human Service and Social Security Dr. Vindya Prasad also gave remarks at the closing ceremony and reiterated the country's efforts to provide legislations that support the initiative. The minister expressed her elation for the Hope and Justice Center that will be commissioned soon. She noted that her ministry has embarked on many programs with the aim of spreading awareness of abuse and the many ways it can impact the lives of women and men. To this end, Minister Prasad said the final draft of the Family Violence Bill was completed and will be presented to the National Assembly soon adding to the immense efforts of highlighting crucial policies to tackle gender-based violence, consultations will soon commence for a new harassment bill. We're also working on the harassment bill, and that's a big one, and it will go out for consultation pretty soon. And I would love to have your feedback on it because that happens everywhere. And we want to make sure. I love the fact that he said yes, too. But... I want to make sure that we put a handle on it and we make sure even if at first it starts as a conversation and an awareness, something starts. So we moved on further to strengthening how we deliver from the Ministry of Human Services and how we co-opt our partners to do so. Violence against women and girls remains one of the most prevalent and pervasive human rights violations globally and despite laws being passed to combat violence against women, weak enforcement and discriminatory social norms remain significant problems. As such, strong action and strict reinforcement of these policies are important. Reporting for the newsroom, Lazina Yearwood.